Hi folks, my name is Fred. Welcome to my shop. I have a relatively easy to make and useful project to share with you today. It's my version of a tailstock tap holder. Uh, this project is inspired by everybody's favorite YouTube shop teacher, Mr. Pete222. Uh, he detailed it in his recent video, Tips Number 425. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I used his basic design and a few modifications of my own to come up with uh, my version. So let's talk about the, the movable portion first. I had a spare tap wrench that holds a number four through a quarter inch taps and so I used that and I integrated the uh, tap handle back into the the tool for when I was doing quarter inch so I had a little bit more leverage the tool was held in identically to Mr. Pete's with a set screw I made the flutes with the 5C collet process that he used but I only wanted six flutes so I used, and I didn't have a ball end, uh, end mill, so I used this countersink. I just tried it out and it, it actually came out pretty well. These grooves are a hundred thousandths deep and there are six of them. Worked out well. Uh, the stationary part of the tool, which is here, is made from a, an old Morris Taper number no. 2 dead center. Uh, basically, I parted off the the tip of the dead center. I chucked up this in the tail stock, and then I put a three eighths inch drill bit in the head stock of the lathe, and then just used it to center up on the tail stock and bored the hole. And then I loctited the three eighths inch rod, four inches long. I think it's four inches long. Yeah, four inches long into the into the Morris taper. And so when we put them together we have a tool that will extend. I can have some leverage on it and it just will pop in and out of the tailstock. If you've seen my videos, uh, other videos, uh, recently I, I made some uh, pin vices. And this is one of the pin vices I made for that, in it, for that video. Now it's a three jaw as opposed to this one which is a four jaw so I can hold drill bits uh, little burrs and stuff like that in here and I can I, I put a three eighths inch hole here just like the one I made and this can go on here now I have a little pin vise that I can hold and run little little drill bits so let's let's go over to the lathe and set this up and uh, see how it works. Catch you at the lathe. Okay, here we are at the Atlas 10 inch lathe. I have a piece of scrap brass chucked up here for demo purposes. We'll take the stationary part of the tool which has the Morris Taper 2 on here with a 3 8 inch shaft We'll put it in the tailstock, run it home, and we'll take the movable piece of the tool, slide it on, and we can run it up. We would engage the hole, the pilot hole that we have drilled in the brass, and then start running our tool up, making threads. If it gets a little more difficult, you can grab the T handle going as far as you need, backing off to clear the chips. Have the appropriate uh, cutting oil on there if you need it. When you're done, back it out, take it off and there's your tapped hole. If you wanted to make a really small hole, uh, you could use the, the pin vise with the three jaws, slide it on, come up into your stock with the head, head stocks or with the chuck spinning and just run it up ever so slightly and then just advance the tool to, uh, to, to cut your hole then you'll have that that tactile feel. 
So that's it. That's all I got. I want to thank Mr. Pete for the inspiration for this project and uh, I hope uh, you found something useful in this video that you can use. Thanks for watching.